Hey, 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 everybody. Wujoo here. Uh, time for another medic mail day. It's going to be a mixed mail day. Uh, cards and lots of silver. Uh, I've been kind of buying a little bit more silver again. Probably buying at the wrong time, no my luck, but uh, decided to buy a good bit. Might sell, resell a few of it because I uh, bought a little more than I had planned on it, but uh, that's beside the point. Got some good deals on some of it, so I can't complain. But anyhow, we'll start out with the uh, cards. Got three cards in one which is going back to Panini, and two that are going into my Hall of Fame PC as new players. Uh, first off, start with the uh, card I got sent back into Panini. Uh, I bought the Redemption pretty cheap. Um, and I think I bought another card with it that I wanted. I just bought it because it was cheap and helped cut down on the price. Uh, but it's an RPM, the NFC uh, from Absolute. 10 out of 49. Titus Young. Autograph was okay, but the problem is, as often happens with absolute cards, there's the crease on the F, and it creased back to the point where it actually indented the card, apparently, when they had the card before they stuffed it in there, and then they sent it to me anyhow, so that's going right back to Panini. Um, hopefully they'll be able to replace that without too much problem, but yeah, that's going back. And then the two new Hall of Fame uh, PC pickups. Uh, first is a PSA DNA card, um, kind of a rare autograph on the ones that I don't mind having the PSA DNA until I can find an authentic one. I know they exist, it's just a matter of finding one. Uh, but it's a 1973 Topps card, PSA DNA authenticated for the autograph of Buck Buchanan. So pretty nice autograph on there, like I said, that will be replaced if I can find one of his authenticated autographs. But for now, that's in the PC. And then finally, pick up for the PC. Uh, this is actually from this year's Top Supreme. Uh, it's a one of one. And not the most beautiful autograph in the world, but it's still very nice. It looks like they had it on a piece of tape and then put on a uh, page of some sort. That they took and taped over top of the uh, paper, which is quite a possibility. Uh, but it's a very nice cut signature, one of one. Lamar Hunt. So, not really smeared, just kind of, it's kind of dark just from the age, I'm guessing. Or not dark, but a little light from the age. So, that's it for the uh, cards. So, that's two new Hall of Famers. That puts me up to, I believe, 234. So, I'm 30 away from completing the Hall of Fame at this point, which, uh, once the new stuff comes out in Panini, I'll be able to knock off probably about three more. And after that, it just gets expensive. Try to go after a Vince Lombardi that ended yesterday. Uh, but the thing was, she'll bid the hell and back. So, I was the second highest bidder. But, yeah, I have a feeling it got shilled. I may be wrong. It may get relisted. It may have just been somebody that has more money than sense. It was their only bid in the entire 30 days. So, anyhow, on to the silver. Um, Save some of the nicer stuff here to the end. In fact, I'm still waiting on another 10 ounce bar, which should be coming in probably any day now. Uh, first off, we'll start out with uh, I got a nice uh, one ounce bar of Scottsdale Silver. Still in the wrapper. And then a uh, little story behind these I bought two rounds from this guy, new seller and everything. Uh, end up sending me two packages. Um, which I was nice enough to email the guy back and say, hey, you sent me two. Then he got nasty saying, well, send them back, but you're going to pay for shipping and then I'll reimburse you. I'm like, no. I said, you're going to pay for the shipping first, otherwise you're SOL. So, uh, but the two I'm keeping are the two 2009 um, Silver Eagles, just because of condition. And the other two that were in the other package, it's an angle hard. Uh, one troy ounce round, which I'm kind of tempted to the angle hard, just it's the coloring on it. A little discolored, all that could probably be cleaned up, a little tarnished, I mean, but. And then there was a uh, one troy ounce um, buffalo round, so. There's that. Uh, just got most of this in today, actually. And I have a. Kookaburra from 1991. The front's very nice, but the back's a little tarnished. In fact, I think I have a 1991 already, actually, so this may end up being 
one of the few that I sell these usually carry a little bit of a premium compared to the other so but there's the uh, 1991 kookaburra uh, then these two here alright open this up one of course is just a silver eagle I need to start buying some cases for the loose stuff probably ought to have gloves on but oh well uh, 03 American Eagle and then this is a actually a replica coin what they call a commemorative copy I guess um, this is the Walking Liberty focus there we go and on the back it just says commemorative copy one troy ounce .999 fine silver uh, was a big old scratch in there so that's probably going to be one of the ones that goes up for sale I checked back on the auction the scratch was there but I don't think it's going to worry too much if nothing else people will buy it for scrap silver melt it down and voila they got more silver condition not always important when it comes to silver so and then I picked up this one. It's a actually from the Chrysler Corporation, the Bill of Rights coin. Comes with the COA and all that, which who really cares? Maybe if I can get it out here. It was fine before. I could get it out, no problem. Now it doesn't want to come out. There we go. Bill of Rights, right, Silver Round. Of course, there's one Troy ounce, five silver, blah, blah, blah. And actually, I got that at a pretty good price, so. I guess I could care less about the COA and all that. That was just in there. Comes with a nice little case. What the hay. If you can get a good price on silver, no matter what it is. You take it, unless it's like a birthday bar, those are ugly. Uh, then I have got eight ounces. I bought these directly from Scottsdale. Um, there are four uh, Canadian maples, so four of these, 2012s, and four 2012 silver eagles. Again, I'll probably buy some cases, might be reselling some of those, so watch out for that. And last but certainly not least, this is actually one of Scottsdale's uh, special auctions where they say, here's 10 ounces you can win. It could be 1 ounce bars, it could be 10 ounce bars. We're not going to tell you. You'll find out when you get the package. End up getting this actually just about spot price. And they are circulated bars as it says in the auction, which is no big deal. trying to get this right I don't have to hold on to it too long but it's actually one of the uh, 10 ounce Scottsdale stackers oh, dang that thing there you go a 10 ounce one of the stackers which actually look very nice I saw some cases online but they're like seven bucks a piece if you buy one at a time so very nice matches the magnet they sent me uh, so but I got that directly from Scottsdale as well they say it's usually Scottsdale Academy and I forget what the other bar is they usually send out. So, but nice 10 ounce stacker. Like I said, I got that, I think maybe like a dollar over uh, spot at the time. So, not going to complain about that in the least. So, uh, that should be it for this mail day. Um, don't have any more cards coming in. Like I said, I got one more 10 ounce bar coming in. Um, but other than that, that's about it at this point. Um, yeah, so, so 234 NFL different Hall of Famer autographs. Going for 235 here, hopefully pretty soon. I was looking to upgrade stuff, and yeah. Uh, and also, I'll be out of town starting Thursday, and I'm not probably going to be back on until maybe for a short time Sunday, but definitely not a long time till Monday, maybe even then. Uh, otherwise it'll be Wednesday before I really am on for any reasonable amount of time so but yeah that's it for today folks as always thanks for watching